Hello everyone. With so many tools available today, it's a bit difficult to figure it out which one provides the more accurate or reliable answer. So in this video, I'm going to compare four famous AI tools like ChatGPT, Perplexity, Google Gemini, and Microsoft Copilot. I'll put them through a test by searching the information from the web and see which provides the accurate and reliable answers. So let's start. I am now logged into all the four AI tools. So ChatGPT I'm logged in, Perplexity, Google Gemini. I'm in the Google Studio where I'm using Google Gemini and in the tools I have enabled the grounding. So let's close this. And finally, the Microsoft Copilot. And now first I want to see, can they even do the web search or not? So let's start with the basic, I'll open Google. So what is the current temperature in Melbourne? So right now it's 23 degrees Celsius. And now let's ask the same information to all four tools. Start with the chat GPT in Melbourne, but I want in degree Celsius or just in Celsius. So let's see. So it's 25 degrees. So which is kind of accurate because the different websites provide the different information. So that's all good. Now let's check the perplexity. I'll just copy paste this one because I want the information in Celsius. Okay, yep, that's good. So that means web search is working. Same in Google Gemini. It went a bit further and provided the information from different sources and the different regions. So these are the different suburbs in Melbourne. So that's good. But actually I was just looking for Melbourne CBD information. So it's all good. So it's providing this information, which I think is almost accurate. And finally, the Microsoft Copilot. This is not at all correct and it's getting the information from this source. Let's click here. <laughs> and it's providing 24 degrees Celsius. However, the Copilot, I don't know from where it's picking up the information, 36 degrees. So I can say that among the all four, for a very basic web search, I think Copilot is the most inaccurate one. However, if you look at the chat GPT, it's looking the Bureau of Meteorology. I think the information from this website should be the most accurate one. And let's see from where the perplexity is getting this information. It's not showing the source of the information, but anyways, it's correct. And in the Google, it's getting the information from the reliable sources, Bureau of Meteorology. That's good. And the co-pilot, it's getting from AccuWeather, which mostly the Android phone uses, but yeah, it's not fetching the right information. So chat GPT, perplexity and Google Gemini are the winners here. Now I'm going to give them a bit complex task. If I'll talk about Azure in the cost optimization, we do the right sizing of the virtual machine. So we reduce the size or we increase the size based on the requirement. I want to see if I'll provide a specific SKU of a virtual machine from Azure and provide the relevant information like it should be Ubuntu virtual machine and the SKU size and the savings plan. In that case, it should fetch me the correct information. So first let's Google what is the cost of running D8S V3 Azure virtual machine in Australia East. Windows virtual machine pricing. So let's check azure.microsoft.com. This is the Microsoft website itself. If we'll scroll down and let's change it to Ubuntu. So let's select the basic Ubuntu. And the region is Australia East. Hmm. 
द वी एम सीरीज आई एम लुकिंग फॉर इज डी एस वी थ्री सो डी एस वी थ्री सीरीज आई वॉन्ट इन ऑस्ट्रेलियन डॉलर्स मंथली प्राइजिंग एंड द प्राइजिंग मॉडल विल बी पे एज यू गो सो लेट्स चेक डी एट एस वी थ्री If we'll check here, pay as you go. It's five eighty seven dollars per month, and we can choose the different saving plans. But what I'm looking for is this information, which is available directly from Azure dot Microsoft dot com. So let's check the pricing of this virtual machine using all the four AI tools. So this is my query. I am running D eight S V three SKU virtual machine in Australia East region. There is a Ubuntu operating system running. I don't want to include any licensing charges. Use the pay as you go model pricing. Please provide the monthly running cost of D A S V three S K U virtual machine in Australia East region in Australian dollars. So let's check. Uh, it didn't provide me the monthly cost. let's select the search option also i think i missed this one but anyways let's try again so it searched the web and it's converting we don't need to do that there is azure pricing calculator and azure official pricing page which it's referencing but it's not providing any information okay so i didn't get what i was looking for So let's try the perplexity. So it's doing the web search, and it came up with two eighty dollars per month, which is not correct, which is not even near actually. So that's wrong information. Now let's try Google Gemini. Okay, so it has done some calculation, uh, and that this is this is wrong. A U D per month. This is not correct too. Okay, and finally Microsoft Copilot. Okay, what's wrong here? Why everyone is providing the wrong information? Why it's providing the information from cloudprice dot net? They should be looking for the official Microsoft website, which is azure dot microsoft dot com. I don't know, but none of them provided a reliable solution. I think Chat GPT didn't even understand the question properly, and it's not providing me what I'm looking for. So it's not even converting to monthly. However, others they they converted to monthly price, but the source of their information is not right i can understand maybe they can't crawl the microsoft website but microsoft copilot should check their own website itself none of the tool is reliable for this information so if you want to do cost optimization i think you need to manually do it um, using the microsoft azure pricing calculator so let me cross check the pricing calculator this website is correct or not so let's look for Azure pricing calculator. So, so pricing calculator. This is, and let's add virtual machine. Okay. So here, let's choose Australia East. Ah, uh, not Central. Sorry. Australia East. I don't want Windows. I don't want to pay for license. Then series is DS V three. DS V three series. D eight S V three on seventy hours. Pay as you go. Three sixty five dollars. Let's convert it into Australian dollars, and it's five eighty seven. It's correct. So that means the information provided by all the four AI tools is inaccurate. 
So just a suggestion, when you're doing the cost optimization or any calculations for the cost optimization in Azure, don't rely on these tools. Just go to the Azure Microsoft Calculator. Now the third one is more complex because you don't find that information in the, in the documentation itself. And you have to go through the blogs or some videos uh, on which this information can be provided. Now the query is that I want to create a guest operating system on the Hyper-V, which is the hypervisor for Microsoft. But when you install the Hyper-V on Windows physical server, in that case, you use the networking switch, which is external for connecting the guest operating system to the internet. But because of the architecture limitation in Azure, because now if you want to install the Hyper-V on Azure virtual machine, which are already on the Hyper-V, which is managed by Microsoft. So there is a double layer and there are some limitations due to which external switch doesn't work to provide the internet access on the guest operating system. And what we have to use is internal switch along with the NAT. So I have already created a video on this. So, so if you want to mimic an on-prem environment in Azure virtual machine, then you can go through that video. So let's check if these AI tools can look for that information and provide me the accurate answer. So my query is, I want to run Hyper-V on Azure virtual machine. I have created nested virtual machine in Hyper-V, but it's not connecting to internet. Which virtual switch should I create in Hyper-V and assign to guest operating system so that they can connect to internet? So let's check if it can find that information. Searching the web. Okay, that's actually very good. So it gave me the internal virtual switch with the NAT and that's perfect actually. And this is very accurate information. <laughs> and the fun part is, ah, it's referencing my video itself. So that's really good. So, so it would have gone through the video transcription and provided this information. So that's an accurate and reliable information from ChatGPT. Let's try. Perplexity. Oh, it's it's referencing my video again. That's perfect. But oh, not the correct information. It, so it's just referencing the video, but not providing the correct information. So it's creating external switch, which will not work here. Let's try Google Gemini. Okay, looks like, oh, perfect. So Google Gemini correctly provided that internal switch with the net has to be provided. That's very good. And finally test the copilot. Virtual switch, external switch. I don't know what's happening with the copilot, but all this information is related to Azure. I don't know, it's getting that information also wrong. So yeah, Microsoft needs to look into this. Copilot is the most inaccurate one and Chat GPT and Google Gemini are the winners. But we can't, but we can't say that they're the clear winners because previous information they provided wrong. However, perplexity is a good search tool, but you can't rely on it. You need to do multiple searches. You need to check the Google and then find this information. After analyzing all four AI tools, my opinion is that you can't rely on a single tool. You need to check the Google. You need to check these tools, compare that information, go through the documentation. Looks like more fine tuning has to be done on these models. Then only they can provide the accurate information. However, all the three prompts or the searches which we have done are not very, very complex. They are specific to Azure. Weather one was super easy, but so the Microsoft documentation, it's available on the web and they should be referencing those documentation before providing any result. So that's all I wanted to show in this video. I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much.